Well, well, well. Would you look at that? It seems as though a little mouse got lost on its way home. Shouldn't you know better than to take a dark alleyways alone after sundown? Especially in this district. Everybody knows the rules here. Oh, don't even try to defend yourself. I can smother humanity and weakness on you. You're not demon, vampire, nor wolf. Your hands are as clean of blood as they possibly could be. <laughs> Looks like you're entirely at my mercy now, little mouse. And if I hear so much as a squeak from you, I will rip your head off your shoulders and feast upon a bound of blood gushing from your body. We wouldn't want that, would we? You look like a smart one, little mouse. Good at taking orders? I bet you wouldn't even question if I told you to get on your knees. <laughs> or maybe you'd put up a little fight once again, find your tongue. Though, I could think of better things to do for it, rather than talk back to me. You have a bit of a death wish, don't you? Coming out here all by yourself, into the darkness, the most dangerous corner of the city. Or perhaps you're a lot more mascus than you let on. Your quick little heartbeat is the only one within miles. Only your shallow breaths can be heard in the entire area. You are all mine here. This is my territory, little mouse. And you overstepped. Oh, don't even try to run now. It's far too late for that. The moment you stepped here, you gave yourself to me. And I'm not willing to give up a youth, tasty looking one like yourself. Just look at you. Who would ever want to give up something like that? So small, cute, and helpless. You'll make a fine toy, little mouse. At least for the time being. I have enjoyed the taste of blood, leaving the light of your eyes. Your warmth in the back of my throat. Yes. I think you'll be interesting. And by your smell alone, I can tell you'll taste exquisite. Come now, little mouse. Take a step forward, deeper into the shadows, and give yourself to me. I said come. Now. I'm not the patient kind, little mouse. I hoped you'd be more obedient. Shame. Perhaps I was wrong about you. Just a scared little mouse, frozen in fear. Careful with that little heart of yours. If it keeps being that quickly, it might just explode. <laughs> You're just too cute, my little mouse. But now, come here. Before I lose the little patience I have left. Another step. That's better, little mouse. Very good. Now kneel. You heard me. 
You heard exactly what I said. Get on your knees, my little mouse. On your knees. Aren't you just a pretty little thing? Look at you. Such a willing pet. You're scared I'll kill you, aren't you? I knew you'd knew for me. Oh, the things I could do to you. The fun we could have. Such a cute little human pet. You wouldn't mind if I took a pipe, would you? Would you be a good little mouse for me and stay quiet while I drain you? Hmm? I bet you like the feeling of the hot blood running down your body. My teeth in your neck, lips against your skin. My hands pulling your hair and, and leaving scratches along your back. You'd like that, wouldn't you, my toy? You look delicious, little mouse. You're all mine, and I'll make sure I won't have to share you. I'll drink you up until the last drop of you is on my tongue. It will be a great pleasure to finally have a victim. A sacrifice. As delicious as you again. Look at me. Oh, come on, little mouse. Look. That's right. Look into my eyes. Don't look away. I like you even better at this height. It really suits you. Having to tilt your head so far just to meet my eyes. But sadly, I won't be able to suck your blood like this. What a shame, little mouse. You look delightful at this angle. Hmm. I would love to see what that mouth of yours could do, but I'm afraid we won't get that far. Enough foreplay, don't you think? Can you imagine the bloodlust? And how it feels like? That hunger in the pit of your stomach that can never be satisfied. That ferocious animal within you, begging to be let out. Mm, as delicious as you look, only your blood could truly really satisfy this primal urge within me. I want to see your pretty little face filled with fear. Tears streaming down your pale cheeks as I ran my fangs and nails into you. Not just your neck. Your thighs look quite tasty too. <laughs> Haven't you realized it yet? You're mine. Mine and mine alone. There is no escaping this anymore. So? Little Mouse, what are you planning to do? Kneeling in front of a mighty vampire, whose hunger won't stop until I've had all of you. Every last drop you have to offer. Until the final cold little breath leaves your lips, and I'm here to take it from you. Oh, that adrenaline smells so good on you. I can tell you're trembling, my little mouse. How adorable. No, no. Keep your eyes on me. Your expression is just too cute to miss out on. Boo. Oh, you're even better up close, little toy. God, you're tempting. 
such a pretty face and soft skin. You truly look delicious. Hmm. This spot right here looks just perfect to bite into. Such a sensitive part of the neck too. I can tell your whole body is quivering. Are you scared, my little mouse? You should be. But who knows? Maybe you even end up enjoying this. They say a vampire saliva in your system feels better than most drugs after all. You'll get to die in ecstasy, little mouse. How exciting! <laughs> Fuck, it tastes good. Mm. Creeps will me like that little mouse. Every little twitch, every muscle you move, just makes me want to grab you even harder. Come on, fight back. Just try. Put up a little fight with me. Force me to pin you against the filthy floor, spilling your blood to the pavement. Come on, little mouse. You're not dead yet, are you? Or are you still frozen in fear? <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, cute you are. Come on, give everything you have to offer. That's all? Are you even trying, little mouse? Fight back like you mean it. There we go. Now you can't move anywhere. Try to stop going against me, I fucking dare you. You're Pendle Mouse. There is no escaping me anymore. This is where you die, my toy. <laughs> 